Aloha everyone. I just want to share a quick video reminding everyone of a really important Maui Planning Commission meeting that's scheduled for next Tuesday, June 25th. It's going to be located at 200 High Street in Wailuku, but it's also going to be streamed online for those that can't attend in person. Now, this is an extremely important meeting as they'll be hearing testimony about the proposal to eliminate short-term rentals that have legally operated in apartment zoning on Maui for decades. So right now I'm actually standing in North Kihei and this particular location sits on a stretch of beach that has several short-term rentals that are currently operating in apartment zoning and would be eliminated if this bill passes. And an interesting story that I've shared in the past but I think is important that people remember is that one of my clients that owns in one of these short-term rental buildings actually offered their property up to Lahaina fire survivors on a long-term lease. They went through the whole process of getting approved by the FEMA program and the property passed inspection without any issues. But when FEMA started to offer the property to people living in hotels after the fire, no one wanted to move in. Now, keep in mind, that people who lost their homes in the fire were being offered this property rent free for two years and no one wanted to live there on a long-term rental so fema eventually released my clients from the program and now it's back to operating as a very successful short-term rental look there's a lot of stories that are similar to that out there and i think it's clear evidence that properties like this are simply not designed for comfortable long-term living of full-time residents. And this proposal is more of an attack on the tourism industry on Maui in general than a viable option to help solve the Maui housing crisis. So I've shared my thoughts on the proposed short-term rental ban in past videos, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail once again. I'll share links to those videos in the description below in case you're interested in my opinion. But what I really wanna say in this video is that I think it's so important that everyone who cares about Maui's future has their voice heard. If you can't attend the planning meeting in person, you can submit testimony virtually or send in written testimony via email. I'll share details on exactly how you can do that in the description below. Now, as you can imagine, this is an emotional topic on Maui, and there's been a flurry of social media posts from people on both sides of the debate. If you watch my past videos, you know that I've come out against the phase out of any legal short-term rentals, but it's not because of my own self-serving agenda, as some people might have suggested. I actually own a short-term rental, but it's in hotel resort zoning. So it would not be impacted by this legislation. And in fact, it's likely that if apartment zone short-term rentals are eliminated, my short-term rental in hotel zoning and other properties like it could see an increase in rental revenue and property value because of the reduction of supply of these types of properties. So the true reason, the real reason that I'm actually against this proposal is because I truly believe that it's more likely to hurt the people it intends to help because of the economic impacts and the significant reduction in tourism and the facts and research that have been done by professional economists support that opinion. I'll share a link in the description below to a recent study that's been done on the economic and fiscal impacts of the short-term rental industry on Maui in case you want to take a look at the actual facts. That being said, I support everyone's right to voice their opinion on the subject regardless of whether you're for the proposal or against it. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, but more importantly, make sure you submit your testimony either in person, virtually on the Zoom call, or in writing to the Maui Planning Commission. And share this video with anyone else who cares about Maui's future so that they can voice their opinion as well. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope to see you on the next one. Aloha.